Good evening, guys. Um, hope you all had a good day. Um, sorry we had to um, we had to skip yesterday because we were uh, we were working until late. We didn't get home until nine o'clock. Um, gone. So um, we were out of the kitchen uh, preparing. We prepared two hundred and twenty meals yesterday. Uh, so Ben went out to or up to, should I say, uh, Barnstable and delivered um, a good load of those today to Young Devon, um, a homeless uh, young people's charity um, that was all sponsored by. Um, Plymouth Friend Table, which is really generous of them. Uh, and then we've been and delivered a load of uh, meals to the Hugs from Henry's donations, uh, or nominations, sorry, um, donations from the likes of Karen Thornton, um, Donna and Darren Gilbert, um, Heather and Jeff Rhodes, uh, Terry and Anne Haverley. Uh, and then we've also had all of our paid ones as well, um, which and today was a very busy one for the paid ones. So that's been uh, a busy one. So tonight, um, so like I said, yeah, sorry, sorry we didn't um, do the meals last night, but I just wouldn't have got home in time. So tonight we're gonna crack on with um, a salmon dish. We haven't done a fish dish for a couple of days. Um, we are gonna do uh, salmon with a sun-dried tomato cream sauce. So it's what I would call a balanced meal, guys. Yeah, it's not um, one of the healthiest meals because we're using cream. Um, you could change your cream for maybe yogurt, creme fraiche, things like that. Make sure it just doesn't split, all right, so you're not getting it too hot. Um, you'll notice if, you, if you're someone who uses MyFitnessPal and, in, and inputs all your um, nutrients and your, your diet into that to track your um, calories and macronutrients and things like that, that we, like we've got all the guys on Plan X doing, uh, you'll notice this one comes up quite high in fat on your pie chart. So on your macro percentages, you'll notice this one's quite high. Um, main reasons for that being salmon is a fatty uh, fish, your oily fish, but it's good fats. And then obviously you've got your cream. So, but it's quite balanced. So I, I noted down just a minute ago, actually, it's 30 grams of fat, it's about 40 grams of protein, about 35, no, sorry, 40 grams of carbohydrates, 35 grams of protein, and it's roughly about a 580, 590 calorie dish. Right, so it's not massive. Um, and what I would do with this type of dish, when I, when I know, so what I do is I input my foods into my fitness pal the day before, um, so I can see, okay, my evening meals are high fat meal. So I need to think about what I'm gonna have the rest of the day, make sure those are sensible choices so it's not gonna push my fat content over. All right, um, so I would uh, maybe suggest yeah, tweaking your lunch options and your breakfast options to allow you to have this evening meal. That's all it's about, so about moving around and looking at what you're doing um, to, so you're within the, the parameters set uh, that you've either set yourself or you can set where you're training or whatever. Okay, enough of me waffling on. We're gonna get some oil in the pan first thing. All right, we're gonna get both pans on. Yeah, I'm gonna get some coconut oil into that one to get my onion frying off, and I'm gonna get some coconut oil into that one to get my salmon going. Okay, I've got skinless salmon today, so I don't need to do anything uh, with the salmon. Let's just get that oil in. So what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm using two dishes, one to cook the salmon in and one to make my sauce, and then I'll combine them both at the end. All right, and then, uh, then we'll get our steamer on uh, for our green beans. And then uh, my couscous is in there. I've just gone for a flavoured couscous, guys. If you've got plain whole grain couscous, you can put flavours into it. Moroccan spices are really nice, dried chilli. Uh, maybe even use a little stock cube rather than just plain water just to give that couscous a little bit of flavour because it can be quite boring. Right, guys, we're gonna do half an onion. Right, this was all on the recipe that I put up earlier on. Okay, half an onion, good to keep the root on, just take the top off. Okay, let's pop the other half out of the way. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so we, uh, training wise guys, we're glutes and abs tomorrow morning. If you've got a training band, a glute band, by all means, bring it along to the party. If you haven't, don't fear, you can do everything without it. Okay, so all I'm gonna do then, nice little dice, Oh, that's quite a large onion, that one. So down in little fingers. Right, so I'm just going short of the root to keep the root on. And then that will hold my knife, my knife, my onion together. And I'll just go through that. Okay, so you could go with a red onion. It's quite a ready coloured dish. You could use a red onion. But we're just going with a white one there tonight. So I'm going to get my onion on first. Start frying that one away. Half an onion. Let's just move that around the pan. Make sure it's covering the pan. And then we're gonna get our salmon on in the other one. Okay, let's move the oil around in that one. Okay, so I've just got 
four skinless salmon fillets like you get from the shop. Nothing chefy, nothing special. Just exactly what you would guys would currently get. What I'll do is I'll pop that in and I'll season it in the pan. Oh, I've gone right through that. <laughs> Ah, Coochie's back. Coochie's back. We've been asking about you, Coochie. I even thought about messaging him earlier on, seeing if he was still alright. <laughs> we noticed that you haven't been here for a few days. Jennifer Marie says, what you guys are doing is amazing. Well done. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We've had some more lovely messages, actually. Um, lovely messages. It's just really nice again, seeing people today that we were delivering to, and just the smiles and that on people's faces. Um, Good, good time to mention Pip actually, who um, donated uh, brownies and flapjack. Um, when I uh, when I told the kids today, they weren't really interested in the uh, chicken pasta and the jambalaya and tagine and stuff that we'd made and dropped off, but they were very impressed with the uh, brownies and flapjacks that you had made. And we've had some lovely comments as well. See? Okay, so two garlic cloves. I'm just using the heel, popping down. Remember that will just pop the skin. Take the root off. So there we go, I've got a nice bit of garlic. Talking of garlic, I diced a hundred garlic cloves yesterday. Wow. Yeah. What's my fingers? I think I would have bought the jar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so my mum and I were out the kitchen preparing all these meals. She's like, oh, are you doing anything at the minute? And I think I just finished cooking up all the chicken. I made the novice mistake of saying, no mum, I'm all right, I'm, I'm all good from this. Like, oh, here you go then, can you chop up some garlic for me? Yeah, yeah, no worries. How much? 100 cloves. Ah, oh, great. <laughs> a little bit easier here. You should here. be an expert then. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to gather it all into the middle. I say I'm just going to run my knife through it. Okay, I'm going to turn that down a little bit over there. Do you want to know who's in? Oh, I want to know who's in, yeah. Come on. Okay. Ben May, Honey Willow, Karen Thornton, Frank Diamond, Ben Wadden, Mark Keane, Coochie, obviously, Carl Sadler Hughes, Hells Bells, Sadie Chambers, Chris Carlin, Dan Townley. Ah, good, guys. Nice, nice to see so many of you in. Um, ben Wadden, your ears might be burning, actually. I was speaking to Carly today from Rock to Recovery. He's asked me to do a little um, training video like he did for Rock to Recovery the other day. So I've got, to, I've got to live up to what you did now, haven't I? I have to try and dig out my shortest shorts possible. My tightest vest. Yeah. Okay, food, food, garlic in. Okay, I'll, get, I'll just bring that onion back up to, the, up to uh, some temperature then. The salmon's happy over there, doing its thing. Okay, so garlic and onion in. Okay, next thing I'm going to start chopping is my sun-dried tomatoes. Now, I'm going to take them out of the oil. All right, now, I don't need to completely drain them, but I don't want them absolutely sopping in oil, because we've already got a bit of oil in there, yeah? In fact, what you could do, guys, um, you could have used, I could have used, a little bit of the oil from the sun-dried tomatoes rather than coconut oil this evening, because there's actually lots and lots of nice flavour in there. Okay, I'm going to go with about 10. Like they might vary in size, so we'll see how we're getting on. But like I said, I see I'm just kind of draining a bit of that oil off them. What have we got there? Six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a ten. Any Marines know, watching know why I've only got a ten. I can't go much higher. Right, I'm going to slice through those and get them into that heat as well. So I'm cutting them about, those, those there, the bigger ones about four times, the smaller ones about three. Hello to Laura Bray, Luke Gray, Andrew Birchall, Lucy Smale, Josh, Josh Davies. Oh, hello. Got loads tonight. Yeah. Uncle Andrew, are you going to be cooking this one? I saw your pasties the other day, actually, mate. Was it? I think it was yours. Hey, Casey. Looking good. Hello, Casey. It's a family thing tonight. Lovely. 
Okay, sun dried tomatoes are in. Let's just get that moving around again. Okay, I'm gonna go with a little bit more sun-dried tomatoes than that. That is like kind of the base flavor of the dish. All right, so I'm gonna go for a little bit more. So I'll just take that. So I said a jar in the recipe, guys. I've gone for 10 there. I'm probably gonna go for another five. That so is pretty much the jar, That is it? pretty much the jar, look. I'm almost done. So I might as well just use the jar, aren't I? That's gonna be one for me. I do like sun-dried tomatoes. They're really nice and a good steak salad as well. Okay, so I'll just get, get the rest of those in. Okay, that onion softened off. The garlic, I can really start to smell now as well. So that's cooking away nicely. Okay, I'm gonna chop up some basil into the dish. All right, I've gone for fresh tonight, although I did say you could use dried as well. That's an interesting conversation we've been having on Plan X today actually um, with people about um, dried and fresh um, herbs. Come on in, Olivia. Come and say hello. Hello. The daughter's come to join us. She's finally finished her oh, schoolwork. Wait, I, actually I have PE to do tomorrow, but I've done Jocelyn. It's now quarter past six and she's only just finished, dear of her. That's why, she's, that's why she's so pasty, because she doesn't come outside. <laughs> During lockdown, have you actually worn anything other than Gymshark clothing? No, they need to sponsor me. <laughs> ah, right guys, just try... Because this is, this is skinless, what you will find, it doesn't hold together quite as well as the stuff with the skin on. So just be a little bit careful when you're moving it. Right, so sun-dried tomatoes in. Basil, that's what I was saying. Um, dried and fresh. So a couple of the people on my um, Plan X group all chatting away about um, having found fresh herbs and how much better they are. Um, now I just take that for, for granted because uh, being a chef I've, just, I've always used fresh herbs. If you've not guys, there is no comparison between fresh and dry. Okay. If you've only got dry, by all means use it, but there's no comparison between the flavour, the smell that you will get from um, dried and fresh herbs. Coriander, basil, uh, mint. If you can get it fresh, then do so. But like I keep saying, not the be all and end all. Okay, so a load of leaves gone in and I'll, I'll use it a little bit more later on uh, for garnishing. Okay, let's have a look what else we've got going on here. Then we're gonna go for two teaspoons of paprika. So that's gonna absorb some of that oil in that pan now. So just two level ones. Uh, in fact, you know what? I'm going to go for one. See how that goes first. Just mix that in. So that's going to give us our nice ready colour in the sauce, in the picture that you saw me put up. That's softening the way nicely. So if your kids don't like big bits, I never liked big bits when I was a kid, you could always blend this. So you could use exactly the same base all right, pop it back into a, a jar, a jar, a jug, um, some sort of hand blend it, um, or, or whatever sort of blender you've got, and you could keep all those flavours and bang it back through, and they would not have a clue. It's just making up, like making up your own, um, your own paste, basically. Okay, I'm going to go with chilli flakes, teaspoon of. So dried chilli flakes, again, if you've got fresh, go fresh. I'll go a little bit less than a heat one. Okay, what else have we got to go in here then? We've got to make up our chicken stock. So we've got 125 mils of chicken stock. I've already used my jug for the couscous. So let me just grab a bowl. And what we'll do there then, just take that out of there, pop that into there. It doesn't matter to the couscous, it doesn't mind where it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna go 125 ml of vegetable stock, and then we're gonna do 250 ml of cream. I've gone for a reduced fat cream. Not very organized tonight. Huh? So we're gonna go for a reduced fat cream, um, just to bring that fat content down that a little bit more, because like I said, we have already got the fats going up quite high on the salmon. However, don't get confused, it's not bad. Fats, all right? It's not your trans fats, those ones that you're trying to avoid. 
All right, I'll tell you what we'll do then, whilst we're waiting for that kettle to boil, is we'll get that in, we'll get that, no, so it doesn't matter which way around it goes. All right, so that's a 300 mil uh, tub. I'm gonna go just short of the full lot. And just work that in. I'll turn that temperature right down now, guys. I don't want that cream boiling. Right, but you see how now that's really starting, that cream stuff to really take on all those all those uh, colours. So that's our sun-dried tomato, that's our paprika, that's our chilli flakes. Okay, you'll notice I haven't seasoned uh, or salted this part because I am going to use that stock in a minute. And for those of you that have been following, you'll know that stock is already uh, quite a salty. Um, the stock cubes have already got quite a lot of sodium salt in them, so I don't find it necessary to salt when I'm using things like that. Um, fish sauce, soy sauce, all quite salty, so I just avoid using any extra salt when I'm using those things. Right guys, I'm just giving my board a bit white. There's a lot of oil on that from earlier. And I want to chop up my basil in a minute for my garnish. Okay, so let's go. Green beans. Let's just take the ends off those. Take the tails off. Um, you could use slippery oh, fingers. You could use uh, runner beans, that'd be quite nice with this. Uh, asparagus always goes quite nice, I think, with fish. Um, Broccoli, any vegetables really guys. Any vegetables to accompany this would be good. Okay, so just gonna cue them up. Take the chop ends off. And we'll pop those into our steamer, ready for in a minute. Let's get our 125 mil of Vegetable stock, there you go, I've got 150, it doesn't matter. Okay, with my couscous, guys, all you simply need to do with couscous, don't need to mess around with it. Often it will tell you all the back of the packet. Okay, I've not even looked at the measurement on how much I need on the back of the packet. Generally, if you go about a centimetre, okay, above the top of the couscous, right, so I need a touch more, right, that is a good rule to go by, all right? About a centimetre above, and all you simply need to do with that now is cover it. You can cover it with a tea towel, you can cover it with a bit of foil, a bit of parchment paper, whatever. Just cover it over so it will steam itself. That's all you need to do. Right, let's mix that up. Let's use that one. Let's get that one out of the way so you can see what I'm doing here. Let's get that into the steamer. Okay, guys, we're probably looking at about five minutes. We're going to steam those beans, and then we're going to get everything coming together. And we go with a little bit more, a few more beans. We like our vegetables in this family. We've had a few more join. A few more join, yes. Donna Kerswell, Adam Merritt, Luke McHale, Carol Waters, Darren Gilbert. I think that's twice Luke's been my best. He was with us this morning as well. Steve Barrett, Christian, Morning, Rebecca Steve. Stockley. Steve's been, on, Steve's been on the missing list for a few days as well. <laughs> Pip, Loafing. we mentioned you just now, Pip. You missed it. You, you had a it. shout Pip, out. your um, brownies and... Flapjacks have gone down very, very well with the people I saw from Hugs from Henry today. They were all buzzing. The kids were loving it. They were not interested in any of the food that I had to deliver. They just wanted the brownies and the flapjacks. Who can blame them? <laughs> right, guys. My uh, steamer. I'm getting bringing up right up to the boil. Right, so that's that one there going on. Let's just get a little bit of this. A little bit of this stock. Right, so that's gone quite quite thick in here, let you have a quick look in camera lady. So I'm just gonna go a little bit at a time, because if I add too much, it could get too watery. Yeah, so a little bit more. Chris Perkins says, evening Dino. Evening Chris. How Graham Hesp, Deb Debbie Linden, yeah, Karen nice. Congo, Roger Coombe, Steve Dance. Lowry, Amanda Richards. Justin, Mr. Bump, Alan. Yeah. <laughs> How's those knees, Justin? How's Marlon got on it, getting on there with no gym? Or has he got a sneaky Easter somewhere? Don't blame him if he does. Right, I'm gonna have a little taste of that. Oh, that's so good. So good. Um, 
when we're all off lockdown, you can all come around and you can all taste. <laughs> Until then. Everybody. Everybody. Yeah, all of you. <laughs> Honestly. Right, so my salmon, I'm going to try and get my salmon in without breaking it. I don't think it's going to do it. You need a bigger spatula. I need a bigger spatula. You need a bigger boat. Uh, right, so my salmon I'm going to take into my dish, guys, so that's going to just start flavouring all that together. Um, you want to start thinking about getting yourself out a plate that you're going to serve on. Okay, well, I've just gone with a nice, big, black dish that I used the other day um, for one of the... I think it was uh, one of the Asian dishes that we did. It was the protein noodles. Was, protein was it the satay noodles. chicken? Yes, I think it was. Yeah. Um, which I delivered a few of today, actually. Right, so that one's done. I can get rid of that one. Brody, it's that time that you need to come and show your face and lay our table. Right, guys, so my couscous, remember I said not to mess around with it too much. You just need to let it sit there, do its thing, okay? And I'm just going to give it a little fork and first. a little bit soggy still at the minute. Pop that back on, that should be ready by the time we get everything else going. Okay, I'm going to keep that to one side because I might still use that. Right, some leaves, just to garnish. Just looks nice on the top in a minute. So I'm going to take a small bunch, and just chop down a few of those. Beautiful. Yeah, so for those of you that missed it at the beginning, I was saying it's about 580, 590 calorie dish. All right, so a little bit high on the fat side. Um, you could reduce that down by using creme fraiche or, or yogurt. Um, you could use a, a less oily fish. You could you go with a cod. You could do this with chicken. This this sauce is very adaptable. You could use this this sauce with other things as well. All right, I'm going. I've gone for a couscous tonight um, rather than a, a rice. Although I might pop on some rice in a minute for the kids because they always. You could just have vegetables with it. You could just have vegetables. You could just knock up yourself some nice, nice little stir fry vegetables on one side with salmon in your cream, uh, sun dried tomato sauce on the other side. Um, yes, guys, you don't. We're, we're a nation that are obsessed with adding carbohydrates to our meals, forgetting that your vegetables are actually a carbohydrate. Um, people always just think, excuse me, think that your carbs are your starchy carbs, i.e. your rice, your pasta, your bread, your potato, um, but that's actually not the case. So people are often quite, um, think they're going, you know, low carb on meals, but actually forgetting to uh, take into account their fruit and their vegetables. Brody, please. Second call for the table. Right. We are, one minute out. One minute out, I'm just going to bring that back up to temperature, guys. I want to get, I'll turn that right down. Uh, I didn't want the cream boiling away. But we're just going to get that up again a little bit. Oh, evening. Not quite how I expected you to come down, but there you go. In your pants. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, classic broody. Go on, mate. Nice and forks, let's go. Olivia, if you could come and do some drinks, please. Okay, I'm going to use that one for serving. Um, let's use that one on the other side. Lovely. Come on in, let's get going. Okay, guys, so if you're wondering what I've got going on in the microwave, it's just a little bit of rice. Um, I am quite happy, if you've, if you've heard me talking about rice, I'm quite happy to heat this rice because I know I've only I've cooked it and I haven't heated, reheated it. Um, before, so the kids will have a little bit of rice whilst we have a little bit of couscous. Okay, have a quick look in that. I brought that back up to the boil, so that's bubbling away. Well, I don't necessarily want that to boil, so um, I'll, you know, bubble away too much because that will start splitting. So I'm going to take that to one side. Let's dish up. Let's have a look at a little look at that couscous again. Yeah, there you go. That's what I was looking for. So it's got a nice, light, and fluffy. Okay, like I said, that was just a, a flavoured couscous. I've gone with a um, tomato and chilli because it complements the flavours that I've got in this dish. However, you could just purely go for a nice simple plain one. Okay, so I'm going to put my couscous right down through the middle. Okay, and I've gone with about half there. That. So it's about 130 grams out of interest for any of you that are being quite health conscious. And then with my salmon, I'm going to come on the other side. 
Okay, I'm going to get myself a nice load of that sauce. And those sun dried tomatoes. So there is some salmon underneath there, guys, I promise you. Okay, I'm going to lose the heat on that one. Okay, and I'm going to go with some green beans on the other side of that. So a nice portion of green beans. And then I'm just going to finish that with a little bit of basil. And I'm going to touch off cracked black pepper. There you go, salmon, sun dried tomato sauce, green beans, and a chili and tomato couscous. Woo! Woo! Right, um, see you tomorrow morning for that and that. Um, half past nine, hopefully we'll be out there if the weather's been as good, we're gonna be in indoors once. Um, thank you to everyone again who's been making um, donations and nominations to our prep food page. If you haven't liked our prep food page, guys, it is slightly different to the DB Fitness and Nutrition page. It's very much about um, the food delivery service that we offer. So if you want to pop along and have a look at that, because we haven't got as many likes on that page as we have on this one. So please pop along, have a look, share with your friends. It would be much appreciated. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye.